Well, I think there's just two ways to get a good job in this country. One is you just work your butt off and do as many things and as hard as you can until you get the job you really want. That's why you have, if you have some passion in here that you really want to do and you'll get through every problem, you'll get over it, around it, or whatever it, is it takes. The other way is find where demand is outpacing supply. In other words, they need more workers than they have applications. Man, so if they have a job and nobody's applying and you're the only one that shows, <laughs> You're it, you know, and you get the job. Now that's the thing. So now I think in our economy, you know, it, it's supposedly going to grow or it has growing and jobs are they're not good. But you want to find the jobs that are growing. I was reading an article here uh, the other day about, you know, what, what a, uh, Trump will or will not do. Who the hell knows? It doesn't matter. You know, there's bigger things going on in society and what he does will maybe you know, reap benefits or bad stuff, you know, years to come. But right now, look here in the article here, Robert Jordan, he's an economist over Northwestern University, and, and he studies the uh, workforce, supply and demand. He says, right now, we've got shortages of construction workers and shortages of long distance truck drivers, and we got shortages of other skilled workers needed uh, to work in manufacturing, right? And there's all kinds of shortages still, even though unemployment is like like 5% or whatever heck it is now, there's still jobs going begging. Here, uh, if you Google and like nurse shortages, man, we're really hurting for nurses, anything in healthcare. Okay, but how do you find them? That's the thing. You know, so if it's those, you know, manufacturing or driving and things, see, if you go and Google, you're going to get schools and people going to get money from you or make you go into debt, you know, to get trained for these things or, or, or get part of your paycheck or anything. Don't do any of that stuff. That's why Google is a trap when you're looking for stuff like that. Okay, here's what you want to do is you go to your labor one-stop career center. Okay, that's a, it's in every county. It's a state federal program. They know about the supply and demand in your area. Do they need, you know, uh, skilled employees in your areas? Because they also have training money. If you're out of work, they have training money. You know, they give you $8,000 to go train for that, get that skill. Maybe it's only three months of training or something like that. So that's where you want to go. Another place you want to go is your local community college. Because even though you don't want a degree, they have programs where they to train people what's needed it in your community okay and, and so you get you know a couple months training or six months or whatever and they have grants also to pay for that kind of stuff too and, and get things for the the jobs that are in demand they're looking for workers you know so that's the way to get an easy job and there's organizations or, or non-profit organizations i see in where i live there's non-profit organizations training people in cyber security in six months you take you get paid for doing this course and, and then you get a job for forty or fifty thousand dollars without even a high college degree. <laughs> now the average person graduating from college is only, well, actually about 40%, I think, are making less than $25,000 a year. That's with a degree. So, you know, you got to be careful of this stuff. And if you're going out and, and putting all this money into a degree, <laughs> who the hell knows what you get, you know, except a bunch of debt. So stay away from debt. That's the most important thing. Find the people that are out there free to help you get a better job or get a training that you need for the jobs that are growing, not for the places that are shrinking. You don't want to be in the stuff that's <laughs> shrinking. That's no fun. You want to go in this place that it's growing. I remember back in the 70s, I was a professor in computer science <laughs> at one college and I was taking the course at another college. I was keeping my students one week behind because there was nobody else around to teach. So they took this schmuck from Wilkesboro <laughs> to do it because I was their only option. So that's what's neat. You want to be the only option. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why you find the things that are growing. That's more fun. And if you need help doing that, man, you know, ooh, I, you, know you could go to our lescotutor.com uh, and look at custom research. And I'll give you a price quote. So you're looking for where can I get trained for free locally, uh, you know, for jobs or anything you want. Just click on free quite price quote. You know, send me an email what you're looking for money to help. I'll give you an estimate. Yeah, it's not going to be outrageous. I'm trying to do these 
as cheap as possible. So get people the information. Because if you try it yourself on Google, you're just getting all these people that want money from you. And, and, and that's too bad. <laughs> I guess I'm one of them. I'm, I want money from you to do the research. But I, 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 you know, I got to keep in business you know, so I can help more people. And, and that's the point of my charging. These other people just trying to get as much money as they can before they die. Man, uh, I want to help as many people as I can before I die. But I got <laughs> I got to stay in business to do it. So let me know or struggle yourself or whatever. Uh, but there's you know opportunities out there. They're just not where you think they are.